Here's an example of how to assemble your letter writing book to make it a reusable preschool learning binder so that every day you can practice your letters and then erase and use again. You simply need a one inch three ring binder and page protectors. I put the first page in the front just so I know what it is. And then each page is put in a page protector, two pages per page protector so that you have front and back. I don't print them double-sided because um, you really need like thicker paper, otherwise it'll show through. So they're printed on separate pieces of paper, but I put them in here front and back. So every letter is the same format and, this, and you get the same pages for each letter. You'll get the first one, which is like an introduction to the letter, A is for apple. You'll always have a, um, a picture of something that starts with that sound. So you can also use it to start learning and associating beginning sounds. The pictures presented in this binder also match our alphabet flashcards. So they will continue to reinforce that connection between the picture and the sound. So this first page is you know, nice and big. You can trace it and then erase it. The next page has two, um, still the big size. The third page is more, um, you know, a smaller kind of primary size, upper and lower case still and then upper and lower case separately. So then they can start to practice on their own in the blank lines. The last page for each letter looks like this. So they'll have a tracing showing the steps, a fun little maze, just keeping, you know, the idea of associating the shapes of each letter. And then they can practice on these lines themselves. And then it's a little bit of some beginning phonics practice. Draw three things that begin with the letter A and color the items that begin with the letter A. If they're not quite ready for the phonics, but they're ready for the writing, you can always just skip this page and come back to it later. So here's our B. And every letter is like that. So this can be used again and again. You use dry erase markers and then just wipe off. Any of these sheets could also just be printed and written on with pencil like a worksheet and you can print them as many times as you want. But this way it's just something that you can pull out in the morning as you're having a little morning time or something they can uh, do independently, maybe while you're working with another child. At the end, you'll have some extra pages of just lines both up and down and landscape, so portrait and landscape. I put the portrait one right here, but I put the landscape one inside the back cover so that um, you know they can actually like write right on here and erase, just for something a little bit different and fun.